Hello, Podrick here. What you see in front of you is the beautiful Chateau de la Sou near Hamoir, Belgium, where I had a chance to spend the Thanksgiving weekend 2020 um, actually on my own because my family couldn't make it with me and uh, just had a wonderful four days uh, in this beautiful castle grounds learning the history of it from the owners uh, Jean Fonsaw and Sabine um, and also exploring the, the surrounding areas um, in the kayak on the Orthe River which is navigable for stretches maybe three quarters of the way and then every now and again and right, very shallow and fast running rapids that probably Lassu. don't suit the kayak so Chateau well de la Sue, but Lassu, I was certainly able to get out about as cold as it was uh, the whole wing uh, of the castle for myself peaceful water um, and as you can see here now coming south, south uh, north sorry on the north uh, towards the grounds of the castle here on the right uh, this is the Belgian Ardennes so you're looking at the south east part of Belgium uh, very tough terrain uh, the, the World War II it was considered a stronghold because of its difficult terrain even though the Germans actually did um, invade here in the Battle of Bulge in 1944 uh, many casualties, very rough terrain, very hard to supply you can see the high river walls out of the valleys into the highlands behind and here in front you see the Chateau de la Sue the tower you see here is from I think the 14th or 15th century uh, parts of it below are from the 13th and 14th century and the the owners of the castle at the time would have been the mayors of uh, Hamwar, the village nearby um, but it, a castle has been built on it's a very sprawling complex with many uh, updates I think from the 16th and 17th century the facade that you see in front of you here uh, has been has, has been uh, you know been there since that time on the right there you see the outbuildings uh, there's a beautiful archway that leads out to, the, to, to those buildings behind that were uh, stable houses uh, in the past but the fire basically had had uh, rooted them out many years ago and the family who owns the castle now are not uh, are not stable people so they didn't need to rebuild that um, yeah, it. You can see up. I was John Fansaw uh, gave me a big tour of the castle, and I was all the way up in the attic that you can see uh, right in front of you. There is a beautiful clock there facing towards the left, which is facing towards Hamor itself in the town, that um, is out for uh, renovation now. It was installed in 1897, so that would be nice to see that back. Up in the attic as well was a, a, a monkey cage for the owners at one point Over during, there on the um, left is the wing I'm staying Belgium at. Belgium was uh, occupying the Congo, had brought back a monkey and uh, installed it basically in the attic. Um, and during the war, World War II, the troops uh, occupied the castle and many people stayed here. And there's still a sign on the door up there that basically says, please keep the door closed because of the draft. The whole draft in the attic and the soldiers wanted to sleep and, and, and keep warm so really interesting history there on the left you see the wing that I stayed in it was built in 1897 here it is again uh, in front of you um, just a, a wonderful place and the you see the, the Malay, Malan family crest here with the three downward hands um, lots of history there. I spent a lot of the time actually hiking in this countryside and kayaking, so beautiful place, over and out.